What's up guys, how you doing? Hope you had a great week. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Philip Scrober, and um, you know, it'd be cool if you, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> it would make my day, I'm trying to hit that thousand and each one of you is helping me so much. Um, today we're talking about the best, the easiest way to set up your DJI Fly app for your Mavic Mini. And it's gonna be really simple, it's gonna be really fast, there's gonna be no BS, we're gonna go straight into it and I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can get nice, smooth, cinematic shots and everything is set up in the app. Now it's a pretty simple app, it's not like from my Mavic 2 Pro where you've gotta go for a million things. This is really simple, with the hope that DJI is gonna give us quite a few more features in it, like manual and video and um, raw in photos and then there'll be more options that I'll do an update to this. Video. But right now we're doing how to set up your Mavic Mini on the DJI Fly app. The best, the most awesome way you can possibly think of. So let's get straight into it. I'm recording this screen so it should pop up somewhere around here. Um, and I'm just going to slide to the side. <laughs> um, so I've got my Mavic Mini right down here below the camera. And when we look at the screen, as you can see, there really isn't much on it. Left hand side at the bottom, you've got a map, you can click on it, it kind of shows you where you are. You can click on it again, then you click on your picture and you're back. If you click again, you make it smaller. And that's really the map bit. Um, left hand side in the middle, you have your takeoff button, hold it for two seconds and the drone will take off, really simple. Top left, you can change between S mode, so sports mode, C mode, so cinematic mode or cinema mode and um, P mode, which is your position mode. That's as simple as it gets. Um, top right hand side, you've got the battery. If you press the battery, it will show you the battery temperature, flight time, and how many volts it has. Um, let's just get the histogram to the left here. And then on the right hand side, just above your record button, you're gonna have what I have 2.7K here. If you click it, you're gonna have the selected, obviously, is the yellow video, 2.7K, so that's the resolution. 2.7K is the highest resolution the Mavic Mini films in. And 30 or 25 frames per second. I choose 30 because I just slow it down by those five frames in post, so it's just that little bit smoother. Now, if you choose full HD, you can shoot in 60 frames, so that's pretty cool. But I normally shoot in 2.7 at 30. Now, you've got your quick shots, um, you can't enter them if you don't take off, well, okay, but I, I'm, we're not talking about quick shots here, we're talking about how to get the best cinematic material. Um, and I normally fly manual for everything. It just, it's just all in the, st it's all in the sticks. Um, now if we go up to photo, there's really not much to it. You've got photo, single, and at the bottom, if we select photo, we can go through, um, sorry, if we click on the right hand side at the bottom, you can click manual, and then you can change your shutter speed, and you can change your ISO, um, or you can just have it in manual. I always shoot in, um, in auto, sorry, I always shoot in manual, so it's just, just controlled by me. Now, if we click again above the round white button in the middle on the right, the picture, if we go back down to video, you'll see it's a wider screen. Um, and it's auto. If you click on auto on the bottom right, you'll see unable to switch camera modes in current shooting mode. That's because they still haven't given us manual. But there is a little run around. If you press EV and say we want to go make it a little bit darker, say one, and we press automatic exposure lock, that's more or less given us um, quite good manual settings already. So wherever you're flying a drone, it's not gonna change its um, exposure. So that's a really cool thing. Um, and that's how I fly it and it gives me really nice cinematic footage. So anyway, let's go into the main menu. Top right hand side, three dots. Click it and let's go to safety. So max altitude, max distance and auto return to home altitude. Max altitude, I have 500 meters. I'm sure you're not really meant to be flying at that, but that's for safety. Um, if I'm about to have a collision with something, if I'm about to hit a tree, if I'm about to hit a building, I like to know I can go higher than I'm meant to just so I can, you know, for safety reasons, not to hit in, you know, not to crash into something, not to cause anybody any problems or myself. Um, now, make sure when you have it set to that, that you know in what country you are. <laughs> Obviously, you know what country you are, but you know the, um, 
the legalities of how you're allowed to fly. So if you're allowed to fly to 100, 120 meters, keep to that and make sure you're watching that all the time. Max distance I have to no limit because I like to get far away and I most of the time I can see it. If I can't see it and the weather's really bad, I will fly so that's always in line of sight. And auto return to home altitude is, I normally have it set to 80, but that really depends on where you are. If you're next to like some really high buildings, you're gonna have to set it above those buildings. So if your drone gets into trouble and it wants to come back, it's gonna go above the buildings and fly back down to you, um, not go crashing through them. Same, for example, I was in the forest recently. I set it to 60 meters, some of the trees were in hills and stuff, so so it would go over the trees and come back to me because it kept on losing um, transmission. Now, there was a bug in the first um, firmware of this. Now they did a firmware update and your auto return to altitude doesn't keep going back to 15 meters. It stays at what you used it for. Um, update home point is only when you're running around and you're actually flying, so you don't need to use that. Um, I calibrate my compass nearly every single time I'm flying in a new area. And advanced settings, I have the propeller stop set to emergency only. So if you pull the sticks in, it will stop them. So if something is really bad about to happen, this thing is just gonna drop out the sky and turn off. Now payload is off, you can turn it on, but payload is off and it's mainly used with the propeller guard. So I did a propeller guard film recently. You can check that out up here. Now let's go through this quickly. Control, um, if you want the best, smoothest, most deliciously butter smooth, cinematic Hollywood style look, just go into Cine Smooth. Everything is just smoothed out. The ends, the beginnings, the ups, the downs. It's smooth, it's beautiful, it's slow, it's not jittery. Use Cine Smooth. Um, if you wanna go crazy fast <laughs> for what the Mavic Mini can do as crazy fast going to sport, um, it will go about 40 kilometers an hour, which isn't crazy fast, but it'll be okay. But it won't be Cine Smooth. So Cine Smooth just means all the edges, every little detail is nicely smooth out. Um, units, <clears throat> I use kilometers an hour because I'm in Poland, so we're using kilometers. You can use metric or imperial, but that's your choice. Now the gimbal mode, follow mode means that when you're flying and say you're taking a harsh turn, your gimbal isn't rolling with the actual drone, it's keeping steady. So you're turning this way, but your gimbal is like this. Now if you use FPV mode, um, your gimbal is gonna turn with the drone. So it's gonna kind of look like a kind of racer. It's a little bit crazy. I don't use that mode because it's, I, unless it's really needed. Now if you press advanced in gimbal, um, my pitch speed is set to 10. So that's the speed that you're pitching with. Um, so let me show you an example. And my pitch smoothness is set to 20. So it's really got a nice, really smooth start and a smooth end. Um, and allow gimbal, um, upward gimbal rotation is on because sometimes I like to get like the view of the buildings, the mountains, the trees, and it won't stop at zero. It will go to plus 20 degrees. So if I go here, you can see this is the pitch. Now mine is really smooth. And um, I like to make sure that when I, there you go, see, see, that, see that smooth movement? That's what you want for a cinematic um, video, right? Now, so make sure these settings are pretty cool and they work really nicely if you want smooth cinematic footage. It's not fast gimbal movement, it's just nice, smooth, flowy. Now let's go back, um, gimbal calibration. If you really need to, then you can calibrate your gimbal. Stick mode is mode two, which I think everybody uses for all the gimbals. Unless you want to be a little crazy and play around, you can use some of the different stick modes, but I use stick mode too, like most of the um, world. The camera, um, the camera size here is actually for taking photos. So make sure you remember that. So if you press four by three, four by three then um, you're having like the full camera mode. So if you press 16 by nine, if we go into camera, let me show you quickly. Um, so you're actually cropping the top and the bottom of me. Now, if we go and we press four by three, you'll have my whole body image above, below. So you've got the actual whole image and it's a normal classic photo frame. So make sure you're on four by three when you're in the camera bit, because that's actually for photos. SD card, you can format it. So you just press format, format, it's really simple. And advanced settings. I have the histogram on, on the left-hand side, as you can see, that helps me um, expose correctly. 
Um, the grid lines I have all of them on, as you can see, the diagonal, the rule of thirds, and the center grid line. And I have exposure warning off because it's annoying. Um, video subtitles I don't need and cache when recording I don't use because it's annoying, it slows down everything. It just means that whatever I'm filming with the Mavic Mini, it's making really small kind of low res files and recording to my iPhone or iPad. So I don't have that on, it's not needed. Um, transmission, well, it's in auto. Um, you don't want to be a manual because every time it's going to change, like it changes as you can see here constantly, then um, you're going to have to be changing. So just keep an auto, it knows what it's doing. Um, and about is the last thing, you can change your Mavic name. My name is DJI Mavic Mini PS of Philip Scraber. Um, and you can check for updates just to make sure everything's updated. And that's it really. Um, you can hold your histogram, move around. I just have it on the top left right there. And that is everything you need to know about the DJI um, Fly app for the Mavic Mini. Right there. Look at this guy, isn't he cute? Um, <laughs> I know I'm rolling these films out like crazy, but um, he's on fire at the moment. And I'd like to give you guys as much information as you can possibly have, because I'm flying him, I'm falling in love with him, I'm getting to really know him. These settings are the best possible for getting really nice cinematic footage. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you just, you know, pop them down in the comments and I'm gonna make sure I get back to you as soon as possible. Um, remember, if you like the film, give me a thumbs up, make sure you know, zzz, subscribe. Um, that's gonna help me a lot, it really does help a lot. And um, I'm gonna review this guy soon, because I think I've had enough time almost playing with him, um, flying him, to kind of tell you guys what I think of him. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. How do you turn this off? I've, oh my God, I've already told him I've gone. Is the battery stopped working?